Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to go over APEX section 10.3.1 study, which is an introduction to optics. This is the part three video. Remember there are three parts to this study section. So if you miss parts one and two, just pause and go back and watch those now before continuing with part three. So in this video, we're going to go over lenses. We've previously talked about mirrors, which reflect light, and lenses refract light. So remember, that means that it bends the light. So you can think of like an eyeglass lens when you're thinking about lenses. And again, there are two types of lenses. There's convex lenses and concave lenses. They're very similar to concave and convex mirrors. And we can also analyze them using ray diagrams, okay? So let's first look at a convex lens. So a convex lens is used for um, glasses if you are farsighted. So if you need reading glasses, that is a convex lens, okay? They're also used in projectors. So um, if you have a projector that is projecting onto a screen, like a movie or in class, that lens in front of that is a convex lens. So that's a couple uses of convex lenses. Now let's work on what a ray diagram would look like for a convex lens. So just like before, we're drawing an axis, and this is how we draw our convex lens. It's sort of like a convex mirror, except we draw a back to it, okay? So lenses are a little bit different from mirrors. When we had a mirror, we said this was the real side and this was the virtual side, okay? But in lenses, it's actually going to be the opposite because remember, we expect light to go through it, not bounce back. So this is our real side, and this is our virtual side, okay? But it, again, it still has that focal point and it still has a center, okay? So let's start drawing this ray diagram. So here's our object. And again, we're going to draw three rays and that's where they intersect is going to be where our image is. So our first ray is parallel to the axis, is refracted through the far focal point. So this is our far focal point. So we have our parallel to the axis and it's going to be refracted through the far focal point like this. And I'm going to draw this dotted line back. Okay, that's our first ray. Second ray is going through the near focus, refracts parallel to the axis. So this is our near focus. So we have a ray that goes through that near focus by our object, and it's going to refract parallel. So this is where it's gonna go. And draw our dotted line back. Okay, great. So the third one is just like before, ray coming through the vertex point is not refracted. So remember that vertex point is that point right there in the middle, and it's not going to be refracted at all. It's gonna just continue going straight. Okay, so you can see that on the real side, all of the rays diverge, they spread out and they're not going to meet. So you're not going to get a real image. But if you look here, you see that they do meet over here on the virtual side. So this is going to be your image. It's a virtual image, okay? Remember this is the opposite of a mirror, okay? So this side is the virtual image side. And so convex lenses can produce real and virtual images. And it just depends on where your object is. So because our object was here, 
we saw that all of the rays spread out on the real side, so there's no way that they would converge and our image would be there. So it has to be on the virtual side. Okay, so that's our convex lens. All right, now let's move on to our concave lens. So a concave lens, some uses of this, they are used for glasses if you are nearsighted. If you can't see the blackboard from the back of the classroom, you are nearsighted and you have a concave lens on your glasses. Okay, so that's a use of concave lenses. So we're gonna start our ray diagram so we can analyze what a concave lens looks like. Draw our axis, it's not straight, let's check in. Okay, draw our axis, and a concave lens kind of looks like this. Now let's try and draw that again. Like this, and this. So you can see it's like wider at the edges. That's a concave lens. Okay, and again, it still has that focus, it still has that center. Great, and let's draw our object here. All right, so this is our virtual side, and this is our real side of our lens. Remember, that's the opposite of a mirror because we expect light to go through a lens, not bounce back it like in a mirror. And we're gonna draw our three rays. Our first ray is very similar to what we just did in convex lenses. The ray is going to be parallel to your axis, refracts out as though it came from the near focus. So let's draw our parallel ray. Okay, so now we're gonna say as if it came from that near focus. So as if it was coming from here, it refracts out. Okay, now let's look at our second one. Our ray headed towards the far focus refracts parallel to the axis. So going from our object to that far focus here, it would have gone through this focus, but instead it refracts out parallel like this. Okay, and we can carry that back. All right, the ray coming from coming in through the vertex point is not refracted. So we go over here. We are going to see it is not refracted. Okay. So if we look at this, we can see again on the real side, our rays are all diverging. They're all spreading out. So that means we have to sort of reflect these back in, these dotted lines. And you see that on the virtual side, they all meet over here and produce this as your image. Okay, so this produces a virtual image. We knew because the rays all spread out on the real side, we couldn't make a real image, so we had to trace them back to the virtual side, and we created this virtual image here. All right, so we made these three rays, we traced them back, and we saw that it produced a virtual image. And actually, concave lenses only can produce virtual images. So convex lenses, they can produce virtual or real images, but concave lenses can only produce virtual limit, uh, virtual images, okay? All right, so we need to be able to understand these ray diagrams. We need to understand the difference between a convex and a concave lens. We need to be able to make these ray diagrams. And remember, of course, that the virtual and the real 
for mirrors and lenses is flipped. Okay, that's pretty important. So that's everything from this section. So in this section, in part one, we talked about um, Snell's law. We talked about how light gets refracted and when it's reflected about that law of reflection. Then in part two, we talked about mirrors, that there's plane mirrors, concave and convex. And we drew ray diagrams for concave and convex mirrors so we can make some predictions about what images we're going to see. And then in this video, we just went over convex lenses and concave lenses. And remember, lenses reflect, refract light while mirrors reflect light. Okay, so that's it from this unit. Have a nice day.